Hi guys, Brain here, and welcome to another commentary video. Today I'm going to give you my take on whether I think the DC penalty should be in Dead by Daylight, or should it not be in Dead by Daylight? Because that seems to be a hot topic that people are uh, complaining about and arguing about in the DVD community right now. And I wanted to give you my take on how I feel about that. Okay, so in terms of the DC penalty, so I want to like kind of like present the idea of like the two sides first. So first, we have people that thinks the DC penalty should be in because especially on the survivor side of things, if somebody like DCs like super early, um, it's kind of just like a doomed thing for the rest of the game. Um, so when you screw over a whole team like that and you leave them to die, you kind of want like some sort of punishment in place so they you know, get their come up and so they get their just desserts for essentially leaving a whole team to die and that sort of thing. So you basically want them to have punishment and not just be able to ruin an entire game experience for somebody um, just by just because they DC. So they, you sit them with like a four minute, you know, ban <laughs> so they have to deal with it. And if they keep doing it, you know, it gets worse and worse. And, and to that, I can kind of understand like where they're coming from with that sort of thing, because like, you know, you can't just have people like ruining the experience for everybody else and having essentially no consequences for it. But um, I am going to side on the fact that I think the DC penalty is kind of a moot point at this point, and here's why. So the DC penalty is kind of a moot point in Dead by Daylight, and the main reason it's a moot point in Dead by Daylight is because the game is, is very, very broken. <laughs> um, more so recently, since it has been. I think it's always been this way. I think the, just the MMR is kind of like revealing it. It's like we we're kind of seeing more of the uh the the people that do not play fairly the people who like to cheat and people who like to hack <laughs> and if you get the inkling that you're facing somebody who's hacking whether that be super super overt like they're holding the match hostage or if they're like going around corners and disappearing with uh 105 or 110 speed all of a sudden just like the soft hack side of things um I don't want to play with somebody like that. Just last week, I had a funny thing happen. I was, uh, I run Discordance on Billy just because it helps me stay in chases because I'm like, oh, there's two people on the gen over there. I have plenty of choices on people who to chase now. That's pretty cool. But uh, since I've been playing a lot of Billy lately, I've been seeing a lot of Discordance uh, go off. Uh, the other, Last week, I had, um, I had, I was chasing a Jake. Discordance was on, so two people were on a gen. Um, I had a Nia unhook herself and heal within five seconds. And I'm like, wait, <laughs> three people on the team are occupied and you're by yourself and you got off hook by yourself without discordance and you healed yourself in five seconds without a med kit. So, um, okay. <laughs> like if I didn't have discordance, I could have just assumed, you know, that somebody was over there and that, um, you know, that's what happened there. It's like, oh, I just missed one of them. I guess, uh, I guess somebody went back over and, you know, got the, the, the unhook or something but like just because i had discords I, I knew for sure that you know that person was very they were soft hacking they were they were soft cheating they weren't they weren't flying around or doing gens in two seconds but she definitely unhooked herself and healed herself um on her own using something that was not fair uh which which just sucks which it, it just sucks and like in in a game environment where that's a thing like why do i have to take an l to this person because they're cheating <laughs> you know like why do i have to lose to them or uh lose a game or lose blood points because that person is literally cheating you know and and behavior unfortunately has not been very on top of this has not even like come out and said that they're going to be doing their best or do better to try and combat how much more hacking there seems to be in the game nowadays um they're kind of like not doing anything about that so <laughs> at least not yet um or not that we know of so in that regard i don't think we should be punished for dcing because obviously if somebody's like flat out cheating in your match or at worst like holding your match hostage what's why am i why would i dc and take a four minute penalty and if it happens more than once a day, why would I DC and take a 15 minute penalty and basically be prevented from playing the game because somebody else is cheating? Like, that just doesn't make any sense to me. It's just really dumb. So I know that's a sentiment a lot of people have, but a lot of people fight it with, well, DC makes the game unfun for other people. I'm like, well, the game's not in a state where it can really have something like that, you know, until things are fixed. Um, it's just not in a good state where those things make sense right now, unfortunately. So I get where you're coming from if you're on the other side of things where you're like, yeah, let's just not at all have a, uh, not at all have a DC penalty. 
or let's have a DC penalty rather. I understand what you're saying if you want a DC penalty, um, but for now, just because of the um, the situation we have with the hacking and the soft hacking, I don't I don't think it makes sense to force people to have to deal with that. So, unfortunately, I, at least for now, I'm on the side of not having a DC penalty. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked my take and you liked listening to me rant about things, make sure you do the likey like because that's how I know I can rant more about more things. <laughs> um, if you like what I do and want to support me, please do the sub because I do upload daily and that's the only way you continue to see my videos because unless you're subbed, it just gets hidden from the homepage, which is pretty cool. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. And if I don't see you in the next video, I'll see you when I see you, friends. Goodbye.